Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a scribble effect in Camtasia 9. Alright, so I recently did this effect on Arit's latest cover video of Say Something, by originally by Justin Timberlake. And I will say that this is one of the coolest effects I've done on a cover music video, but it is also one of the hardest. So I'm going to show you how it is, how it looks, and this is on Arit's music channel right here. I'll have a link to the full video so you guys can check it out. So I'll play about 30 seconds of it so you guys can see the effect in action. All of these are all separate scribble effect drawings. Alright, so that was the, the first 30 seconds. As you can see, the scribble effect looks really cool on a video because it's like these squiggle drawings that are happening really fast on the video and you may remember initially seeing this kind of thing like on the Justin Bieber song, Where Are You Now? That's kind of the trend that created from that song and a lot of people have this effect in their music videos. So let me show you how to do that in Camtasia 9. Alright, so before I get into this, this strategy this method here that I'm going to teach you is very time consuming. It takes a lot of time because you have to draw each individual drawing frame by frame and give you just a little quick overview. One second could potentially be 24 to 60 frames per second. Now we are working with frames, not by seconds. So that's why it takes a lot of time. That music video, if you watch the entire thing, I was doing the scribble effect for three days straight. Like that's how long it took me to do all those individual drawings. And I, you know, I spent some time on each one of them to make sure that it looks good in the video. So just know that this is an effect that is going to take a little bit, but when you do it properly, it's going to look really cool. So I'm here in Camtasia 9, and I've got the video that the music video say something here, the cover video. I'm just going to place that on the timeline, and I'm going to show you an example of how to do this. Now when you place your video or whatever like you don't this doesn't have to be on a music video you can do this on an artistic type of video on a tutorial even like it looks it, it's, it's a cool effect so when you place your media you just want to zoom in on the timeline to the maximum because you're dealing with the frames and not the seconds and you know if you think about it music videos they're actually videos in general they're made up of many different pictures and that's what makes it look like it's moving. So I'm just going to move this timeline here. Actually, I'm just going to just make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to enlarge it again, but I'm just going to move a little bit over. Okay, so let's say we want this part here. I'm going to zoom all the way in. Okay, so let's say this is where I want to start with doing some of the scribble effect. Now, you're going to be using Camtasia 9 in conjunction with a free program called Paint. So before you get started, just open Paint there. I'm going to open it now. Okay, so I'll quickly explain what I'm going to be doing and then I'll go through it with you guys so it makes more sense. So basically what you need to do is you need to isolate each frame, draw your picture on that frame in Paint, and then insert it back into the video. Now, it might be confused right now, but let me show you what I mean. So here, this place, I want to put a scribble effect. Well, first, I need to mark this on the timeline. Because you're going to be dealing with so many different frames, you need to mark it 
because you might get confused and it might be frustrating to remember where you got your screenshot from. So you want to add a marker and how you do that is you click shift M and then it's going to say marker right now it says marker two. That's fine. And now we want to make this into full screen, make it enlarged, take a screenshot of it and then put it into paint. So I'm going to head over here. I don't know why they make full screen so annoying to do. In Camtasia 8, full screen was really easy. It was just one button. But here you have to head over to the percentage area, click detach canvas, click this thing here, which allows you to do full screen. It just takes way longer to do. So now you want to take a screenshot of this. So I'm going to click print screen and it might, the button on your computer might actually say print screen or it might say something like prt.sc, that's what I have here. Every computer is different but we all have the print screen button just in different forms. So I've now pressed the print screen button. Now I'm going to exit out of full screen so I'm going to click escape and then I'm just going to click X on this because I don't need it as a separate window right now. I want to go back to the original board here. Now you want to head over to paint. Now you want to hit paste. Okay, so now you've got the image here. Now the cool thing is on my computer, I have a touch screen on my computer, so it made it really easy to draw. It's going to take some practice if you only have a mouse, but if you have like a thing that you can connect to your computer that allows you to use a stylus, or if you have a laptop that's touch screen, that's going to be really beneficial. Because like right now, I'm touching my screen and I'm choosing the pencil. I'm choosing the size here as the largest and then I'm gonna choose white. You can choose any color you want but for this particular video I want uh, a white color as the the pencil marking scribble effect on the video. So now I have touch screen so I can literally touch my screen and I'm gonna do some drawings here. So I'm gonna do test so that you guys can see it. Now the cool thing is you don't need to be good at art to make this look cool. In fact, the more scribbly and the more less perfect it is, the cooler it looks because it gives this kind of like a shaky effect. So over here, I'm just going to outline a read. I usually go a couple of lines into it so that it's more prominent in the video. So I'll do something like that. I'll put like a star or something. And that is, this is one frame. So now I'm going to save this. So I'm going to go file, save as, and you can do PNG or JPEG. And you want to create a new folder for you to put all of your screenshots so you don't get confused. So I created this uh, test folder here, test scribble effect. I just created this right now on my computer. And now I'm going to title it as test2. I'm going to click save. Okay, now we're done with this part. Now we need to head back into Camtasia. I know there's a lot of parts to this, but it is a really cool effect. I promise you that if you, if you stick with it, it will look cool. Okay, so now that we are back here in Camtasia 9, we want to import that screenshot that we just drew on in paint. So it was called test two. I'm gonna double click. Okay, it's now in my media bin. I'm going to now drag this down to the marker. Do you guys maybe understand what's happening now? So I've now placed this and now I need to size it accordingly. So I'm going to size it to the exact dimensions of the screen. You can also crop it. So I can crop it from here crop from the side, crop from the other side, and then go from the bottom, 
And then now I'll place it and size it accordingly. Okay, and then once we've got that placed, I'm going to move this a couple of frames over. You don't want to make this too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this head here and I'm going to click to move the, the little pointer here to move it slightly because if you move it like this, you might not be as accurate with it. You can press the either the period or the comma key and it moves it frame by frame and how you know you're moving frame by frame is if you see here it says 1 minute 29 seconds comma 23 so that's like the frame 23 so if I click on that it's gonna go 24 so I'm gonna choose this to be two frames long so I started from here 22 23 24 so this is this length is two frames long you don't want to go any longer than that because it's going to do like a lag effect on your video. If you purposely want that, then, you know, that is cool. But if you want it to have more of a smooth effect with the scribble, then don't make it longer than two frames. So I'm going to click the split S. I'm going to click that and I'm going to just delete this because I don't need that anymore. I'm done with that. Okay, and that is one frame of scribble effect. Now I'm gonna just decrease this here for a second. So you guys, it'll flash really quickly, so I'll just play it. All right, did you see that? It happened pretty fast. Play it one more time. Okay, it's like, it's like a quick flash. It happens really quickly. And that is what the scribble effect is because it's happening so fast. It looks like it's like, being drawn on the screen and moving with the pictures because you're doing them to the outlines of whatever's happening in your video. So I'm going to do one more and show you guys, but basically this is what you do over and over again. Now in this cover video, this original cover video that we have here on YouTube, we only did certain parts because it took a long, long time, and I'll show you, maybe here at the end here, I'll show you a little bit of the titles that we did here at the end, and we did them in sections, so you can choose certain highlights of your video to do it on. So here's, uh, at the end here, we did little sections here, and I'll play it for you. <laughs> All right, so that was three sections there. Now, the first two sections were 20 frames each, and that'll be about two to three seconds worth of scribble effect. The last one there with Arit's name, that was, I believe, 30 frames, so it's a little bit longer. So I find that when you do at least 20 of these frames inserted into your video, that it's you know visible and you can see the effect and it looks cool. It will take a long time to do the entire video because literally you're gonna have hundreds and hundreds of screenshots. That's totally normal. It's because you know you're working with each frame of the video. But as you can see, it's really cool. So so if I'm gonna be putting the second frame here, I'm actually gonna put it on the fourth frame here. So this is the first second, third, fourth. I leave us a, a one frame space on the next one. I found that it worked really well. Some people do every single frame, meaning they would, they would only have this one this length and they would have the next one starting directly after. I find that will take way too long, so I decided to make it two frames length and then start on the fourth frame here. So it's one, two, three, four is where I would start the next one. So again, I would add the marker. I would go shift M. Okay. Then I would enlarge this full screen, head over here, detach canvas, go full screen button here, click print screen, 
Press escape to get out of the full screen. X out of this. Head over to paint. Here you can go file new. I don't want to save this. Click paste. Okay, we've got the second frame here. Now I'm going to choose pencil, this size, white. You can choose whatever you want. And let's scroll down here and let's do another drawing. Okay, so let's outline Reet as a whole. Again, you don't need to be perfect with this because it's going to look really cool when it happens really fast. Um, maybe I'll put some stars in the water. Oh, these stars look really bad. <laughs> That's okay though. Even though this looks bad, like it looks cool in the video. Okay, add some birds there. I'm going to save this. So I'm going to go file, save as, PNG, put it in that same folder, go test three. Now this, I'm calling them test, but when I was doing the other one, I was calling them picture one, picture two, picture three, and went all the way up to 300. So I'm going to click save, head back to Camtasia, import this into your media bin, test three. All right, I've got it. Place it down at your marker, then head over to the crop tool crop it out size it okay we're gonna size it now all right I'm gonna now move this over two frames Click the split tool, delete the rest because I don't need this. And then I'm going to just play it for you guys so that you can see it happening real quick. Make sure to pay attention. It happens really fast. So as you can see, I'll do it again. And I'll go over it here frame by frame. So this is what's happening in the video with me slowing it down. So as you can see, it's a really cool artistic effect. And like I said, for this section, I would continue on for 20 more frames. You can go longer, you can go shorter. I just found that 20 frames equal to at least two seconds. So that was enough for people to see it, the effect on the video. I find if, if it was one second, it was a little bit too fast for the eye. And again, you can you cannot do 20 chunks. Like, you can do the entire thing. It's totally up to you. But this is what I found worked for this particular video. And like I said, this is a very advanced Camtasia 9 method and strategy. And it does take a lot of patience, but in the end, it looks really cool. All right, guys, that was it for this video. Again, if you want to see the full cover with the scribble effect, head over to the description below as I will have Arit's music channel link to this specific video so you guys can check it out, analyze it, and see if you guys want to do it on your video. And you know, if I was able to help you out at all, I would appreciate if you went to go subscribe to Arit's music channel. We're trying to get her to over a thousand subscribers and we're so close and we would really appreciate a subscribe from you. That would be very much appreciated. And if you like these free Camtasia 9 tutorials, head down to the description below because I have a whole bunch more for free for you guys. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.